It's September 25th, 1962. World heavyweight champion Floyd Patterson makes the eighth defense of his title against tough Sonny Liston in Chicago. Patterson is wearing the black trunks. Liston is in white. Patterson, 27 years old, three years younger than the challenger. Liston is already considered one of the most devastating punchers the heavyweight division has ever seen. Patterson is looking for an opening here in round one. But Floyd can't get set against Sonny. Now Liston has Patterson against the ropes. A dynamite left hook sends Patterson to the canvas. Floyd is hurt. The referee sends Liston to a neutral corner and picks up the count. It doesn't look like he's going to make it. It's all over. Sonny Liston knocks out Floyd Patterson in the first round here in Chicago to win the heavyweight championship of the world. Sonny's big guns were just too much for the game Floyd Patterson. It's February 25th, 1964. World heavyweight champion Sonny Liston makes the second defense of his title against young Cassius Clay. Champion Liston in the trunks with the black stripe. Clay has the red stripe on his trunks. It's all even here in round three. Liston won the world heavyweight title two years ago when he KO'd Floyd Patterson in the first round. The champion is 32 years old, 10 years older than the challenger Cassius Clay. Cassius Clay throws a combination of blistering punches that back Sonny into the ropes. Clay has lightning speed, and although he's a seven to one underdog, has shown himself to be fearless. He opens up again. In round five, Clay continued to land accurate punches to the head and body while managing to keep out of trouble himself. In round six, he's definitely ahead in the scoring. As an amateur, Clay had a brilliant record. Cash has won the 1960 AAU and Olympic light heavyweight title and the same year won the National Golden Gloves heavyweight title. This is Clay's first fight this year. In his last fight, eight months ago, Cash has scored a convincing fifth round knockout over European heavyweight king Henry Cooper. Since winning the world title two years ago, Sonny Liston has defended it once in a rematch with Floyd Patterson, Sonny K.O. the former champ in the first round to prove his earlier victory was no fluke. Champion Sonny Liston has taken tremendous punishment here tonight, but he still hangs in there. Sonny Liston, unable to answer the bell for the seventh round. Cassius Clay is awarded the seventh round knockout and becomes the new heavyweight champion of the world. It's May 25th, 1965. Muhammad Ali makes the first defense of his world heavyweight title against the man he took it from, former champ Sonny Liston. Ali is in white trunks, Liston in black. Immediately after winning the world heavyweight title from Sonny Liston one year ago, Cassius Clay changed his name to Muhammad Ali. Neither fighter has fought since their last meeting 15 months ago. Ali is thought to be the fastest punching heavyweight the division has ever seen. His combinations are lightning fast. The referee for tonight's bout is former world heavyweight champion Jersey Joe Walcott. Ali won the world title at the age of 22. Only Floyd Patterson at 21 was a younger heavyweight champion. Ali very cautious here in round one, content to wait for an opening. Liston pressing the action, but unable to score heavily against the fleet-footed champion. An overhand right sends Sonny to the canvas. Referee Jersey Joe Walcott trying to get Ali to a neutral corner. Ali yelling at Liston to get up and fight. In slow motion, let's watch that punch again. There it is. Liston struggles to his feet. Referee Walcott is confused. Ali moves in to finish Liston. Ali all over Liston now here in the first round. Both men continue to fight, but it's all over. Walcott says that Liston did not beat the count. Muhammad Ali retains the World Heavyweight Championship. February 16, 1970, New York State Heavyweight Champion Joe Frazier in dark trunks takes on WBA title holder Jimmy Ellis 
for the undisputed world heavyweight title. Jimmy Ellis in white trunks. In rounds one through three, uh, Frazier built up a slim lead with his aggressive style, throwing dynamite left hooks to the head and body. Ellis has been scoring frequently with long left jabs. Jimmy definitely the superior boxer. Frazier all over Jimmy Ellis here in round four. Ellis goes down from the cumulative effect of Frazier's dynamite punches. The referee sends Frazier to a neutral corner and picks up the count. Jimmy is hurt. He's taking full advantage of the count. Frazier moves in to finish him. Joe throwing dynamite punches to the head and body. Ellis hits the deck from a dynamite left hook to the jaw. Jimmy is very hurt. There's the bell saving Ellis from a possible knockout. Can Ellis clear his head and come out for the fifth round? But apparently it's all over. Jimmy Ellis is unable to answer the bell for the fifth round. Joe Frazier takes over the world heavyweight title with a fifth round knockout over WBA title holder Jimmy Ellis. It's November 18th, 1970. World heavyweight champion Joe Frazier defends his title against world light heavyweight champion Bob Foster in Detroit. Heavyweight champion Joe Frazier in the trunks with a gold stripe. Bob Foster has the red stripe on his trunks. This is Joe's second fight this year. Eight months ago, Joe KO Jimmy Ellis in the fifth round of New York City to become the undisputed world heavyweight champion. Bob Foster comes out for round two looking for an opening against heavyweight champion Joe Frazier. Foster won the World Light Heavyweight title in 1968, two years ago, in his spectacular one-punch KO victory over Dick Tiger in New York City. In his last fight five months ago, Bob KO'd Mark Tessman in the 10th round in defense of his World Light Heavyweight title. Frazier at 26 is two years younger than the challenger. Frazier looking for an opening here in round two. A dynamite left hook, and Foster hits the deck. Foster is hurt. The referee picks up the count, but Foster is up with a count of eight. And Frazier will move in and try to finish him. Frazier all over light heavyweight champion Bob Foster here in round two. Joe throwing thunderous punches to the body and head. Oh, a blistering left hook right on the jaw. It doesn't look like Foster can make it. Bob is dazed and hurt. It's all over. Joe Frazier scores a devastating second round knockout over light heavyweight champion Bob Foster to retain the world heavyweight title. It's January 22nd, 1973. World heavyweight champion Joe Frazier defends his title against undefeated George Foreman in Kingston, Jamaica. Joe Frazier is in the white trunks, challenger George Foreman in the red. Frazier having trouble getting set here in round one. Foreman drops Frazier with a right hand. That's the first time Joe Frazier has ever been off his feet. Referee Arthur McCanty giving Joe the mandatory eight count. Joe says he's okay, and the fight continues. Foreman throwing bombs here in round one. George has Frazier against the ropes. Heavyweight champion Joe Frazier trying to keep this raging challenger, George Foreman, away. George Foreman isn't giving the champion a moment's rest. Right up a guy. 
here in the first round. Another dynamite combination, and Frazier hits the canvas for the third knockdown in the round. Frazier is up as the first round ends. Frazier being helped to his corner. 